Today's exploration is particularly enchanting. We're unraveling the secrets of high vibrational individuals. These radiant beings possess habits that resonate with the frequencies of success, joy, and prosperity. Are you ready to elevate your consciousness and dance with the energies of abundance? Let's dive into the tapestry of high vibrational living and unlock the doors to manifesting your dreams. Get ready for a journey that transcends the ordinary and propels you into a life of extraordinary possibilities. Habit 1. Cultivating Positive Thoughts Inspired by the quote, Change your thoughts and you change your world. Norman Vincent Peale Our minds are like gardens, where the thoughts we sow determine the quality of our lives. This is not just a poetic metaphor, but a profound truth. Every thought we have is a seed that can grow into reality. Therefore, it is vital to consciously cultivate positive thoughts, like planting beautiful flowers instead of feeding harmful weeds. People who vibrate at a high frequency, who radiate positive energy and attract abundance, know the power of their thoughts. They deliberately choose positivity, knowing that the mind is a fertile ground that needs to be nurtured. To start this transformational journey, we need to master the art of cultivating a garden of empowering thoughts. The first step is awareness. Before we can cultivate positivity, we need to tune into our thoughts. We need to pause mindfully throughout the day and observe the tone of our inner dialogue. Are our thoughts supportive or do they tend to lean towards negativity? Awareness is the foundation for change as it allows us to identify and eliminate destructive thought patterns. The next step is to consciously shift our focus to positive affirmations. These are the seeds of positivity that, when planted consistently, produce a garden of resilience and optimism. Affirmations are short, positive statements that reflect the reality we want to create. We need to repeat them daily and watch as our mental landscape changes. I am capable, I attract success, and I am surrounded by abundance are powerful affirmations that can reshape our mindset. Another important aspect of cultivating positive thoughts is the company we keep. We need to surround ourselves with people who uplift and inspire us. Just as flowers thrive in the presence of other colorful blossoms, our positive thoughts flourish in the company of like-minded individuals. We need to cultivate relationships that nourish our mental garden and be aware of toxic influences that can hinder our growth. Mindful practices such as meditation and visualization are the water and sunlight for our mental garden. These techniques help us to cleanse and refresh our mind, creating fertile ground for positive thoughts to take root. Visualization, in particular, is a powerful tool that involves mentally imagining our goals and desires as if they are already achieved. This practice reinforces positivity and aligns our thoughts with the reality we wish to create. In the pursuit of cultivating positive thoughts, self-compassion is essential. We need to understand that the journey is not about perfection, but progress. Just as a gardener tends to their plants with patience and care, we need to be gentle with ourselves as we explore the terrain of our mind. We need to celebrate small victories and learn from setbacks trusting that every effort contributes to the overall growth of our mental garden. In conclusion, cultivating positive thoughts is a transformative journey that requires conscious effort and dedication. By choosing positivity, embracing awareness, practicing affirmations, nurturing positive relationships, and incorporating mindful techniques, we can create a mental garden that attracts abundance and success. Remember, our mind is the fertile soil where the seeds of our thoughts take root, choose to grow flowers, and watch as your inner landscape blossoms into a vibrant tapestry of positivity and fulfillment. Habit 2. Practicing Gratitude Have you ever had one of those days when nothing seems to go right? When you feel overwhelmed by the demands of work, family and life in general? When you wish you had more time, money or happiness? We've all been there. But what if I told you that there is a simple way to turn your day around and it doesn't cost a dime? It's called gratitude. Gratitude is the act of being thankful for what you have rather than focusing on what you don't. It's a powerful tool that can transform your perspective and, 
consequently, your life. Melody Beatty, a best-selling author and inspirational speaker, beautifully captures the essence of gratitude. She says, Gratitude turns what we have into enough, and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion into clarity. Gratitude is not just a fleeting emotion that comes and goes. It's a practice, a conscious choice to appreciate the positive aspects of your life. It's about finding the beauty in the ordinary and the joy in the mundane. By cultivating a mindset of gratitude, you can discover the hidden treasures within your own existence. How can gratitude do all that, you may wonder? Well, let me show you how this practice has the potential to shape your past, present, and future. Firstly, gratitude makes sense of your past. How often do you regret the things you did or didn't do in the past? How often do you blame yourself or others for the outcomes of your choices? How often do you wish you could change the past? If you're like most people, the answer is probably too often. But what if you could look at your past differently? What if you could see every experience, whether good or bad, as a stepping stone that led you to where you are today? What if you could learn from your past, rather than dwell on it? That's what gratitude can do for you. It can help you reinterpret your history in a positive light. It can help you extract lessons and silver linings from your past, rather than regrets and resentments. It can help you develop a sense of wisdom and resilience, rather than bitterness and despair. Secondly, gratitude brings peace to your present. How often do you feel stressed, anxious, or unhappy in the present? How often do you compare yourself to others or feel dissatisfied with what you have? How often do you take for granted the things that matter most, such as your health, your loved ones, or your opportunities? If you're like most people, the answer is probably too often. But what if you could change your attitude in the present? What if you could focus on what you have rather than what you lack? What if you could appreciate the richness of each passing moment rather than rush through it? That's what gratitude can do for you. It can help you shift your attention from the negative to the positive, from the scarce to the abundant, from the problem to the solution. It can help you foster a sense of contentment and tranquility rather than frustration and agitation. It can help you practice mindfulness rather than mindlessness. Thirdly, gratitude creates a vision for your future. How often do you worry about the future or feel uncertain about what lies ahead? How often do you doubt your abilities or fear failure? How often do you limit your potential or settle for less than you deserve? If you're like most people, the answer is probably too often. But what if you could change your outlook on the future? What if you could approach life with a grateful heart rather than a fearful one? What if you could expect the best rather than the worst? That's what gratitude can do for you. It can help you set the stage for a positive and hopeful future. It can help you attract more of what you want rather than what you don't. It can help you become a high vibrational individual, as Melody Beatty calls them. These are the people who make gratitude a daily practice. They understand that by expressing thanks for what they have today, they are laying the foundation for a more fulfilling tomorrow. They know that gratitude is a magnet for blessings, drawing more positivity and abundance into their lives. So, how can you harness the power of gratitude? How can you make it a habit rather than a one-time event? Well, there are many ways to practice gratitude but here are some simple suggestions to get you started. Start a gratitude journal where you write down three things you're thankful for each day. They can be big or small, simple or complex, personal or universal. The point is to acknowledge them and express your gratitude for them. Reflect on the lessons learned from challenging experiences and find reasons to be grateful even in adversity. For example, you can be grateful for the strength you gained the skills you developed, the support you received, or the opportunity you created. Express gratitude not only for material possessions, but also for the intangible things that enrich your life, such as your relationships, your talents, your passions, your values, your dreams, and your purpose. In conclusion, Melody Beatty's words serve as a powerful reminder of the transformative potential of gratitude. 
It is a practice that transcends time, weaving a thread of appreciation through your past, present, and future. As you embark on the journey of practicing gratitude, Remember that it has the power to turn what you have into enough, and more. It has the power to turn denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion into clarity. Embrace gratitude as a daily ritual, and watch as it becomes a guiding force, shaping a future brimming with blessings. Habit 3. Embracing Self-Love To love oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance. Oscar Wilde what is the most important relationship in your life? You might think of your family, friends or partner, but there is one person who deserves your love and attention more than anyone else, yourself. Oscar Wilde's wise words remind us that self-love is not a fleeting feeling, but a lasting commitment. In this exploration, we will discover the habit of self-love and how it can transform your life for the better. Self-love is not about being selfish or arrogant, but about being kind, compassionate, and understanding towards yourself. It means recognizing your value, accepting your flaws, and empowering yourself to grow. People who practice self-love know that it is the source of their happiness and success, and that it affects everything they do. Self-love is a journey of self-discovery, where you learn to embrace both your strengths and weaknesses. It requires honesty and courage as you face your inner light and darkness, it also requires forgiveness and acceptance as you let go of harsh judgments and embrace your uniqueness. People who love themselves are authentic and they know that being true to themselves is the best way to love themselves. Self-love is also a commitment to self-care where you take care of your physical, mental and spiritual well-being. It means making time for activities that nourish your mind, body and soul such as exercise, meditation, sleep, and healthy eating. It also means respecting your needs and limits and saying no when you need to. People who love themselves prioritize their health and happiness, and they know that by doing so, they can face any challenge with grace and strength. Self-love also involves letting go of perfectionism and embracing the beauty of imperfection. People who love themselves know that perfection is impossible and unrealistic and that it can hold them back from reaching their potential. They also know that mistakes and failures are not signs of weakness, but opportunities for learning and growth. They are resilient and compassionate and they use every experience as a chance to improve themselves. Self-love has a positive impact not only on yourself, but also on others. People who love themselves are inspiring and uplifting, and they encourage others to love themselves too. They are also more open and supportive, and they can build meaningful and fulfilling relationships with others. They are beacons of light, and they create a positive ripple effect that elevates the world. In conclusion, self-love is a powerful habit that can change your life for the better. It is a conscious choice to treat yourself with kindness, compassion, and understanding and to embrace your imperfections and potential. It is also a lifelong romance, as Oscar Wilde beautifully said, and the most rewarding one you can have. May we all follow his example and cultivate the habit of self-love in our lives. Habit 4. Radiating Positive Energy Life is a complex and beautiful dance, and energy is what shapes our movements and interactions. Some people shine like bright stars, sending out positive energy that touches others and attracts similar souls. In this section, we explore how to radiate positivity and create a supportive community around you. Denise Lin, a famous spiritual teacher, sums up this journey with a powerful statement. You'll know the people that feed your soul because you'll feel good after spending time with them. This shows how positive energy can affect our happiness and relationships. To radiate positive energy, we need to develop a grateful mindset. Gratitude is like a magnet, pulling in positive vibes and making them stronger. Every day, take some time to think about the things you are grateful for, no matter how big or small. This simple habit not only changes your own energy, but also spreads positivity to those around you. A grateful heart is a strong source of high vibrations. Being aware of your thoughts and emotions is another way to become a high vibrational person. Negative thoughts can drain your energy, making you feel heavy and dull. 
By noticing your inner voice and choosing thoughts that encourage and inspire, you can raise your vibrational level. This awareness also applies to emotions. Choosing positivity and letting go of negativity helps you radiate bright energy. The people you spend time with have a big influence on your energy. Surround yourself with people who motivate and support you. These are the people who, as Denise Lin says, feed your soul, have conversations that are positive and meaningful, share your goals and dreams with those who truly care, creating a mutual exchange of uplifting energy. Showing kindness and compassion is a great way to radiate positive energy. Kind acts, no matter how small, create a ripple effect that reaches far beyond the original action. A smile, a helping hand, or a kind word can make someone's day and add to the overall positive energy. The more you give, the more you get back, creating a balanced cycle of positivity. Being authentic is a key part of high vibrational living. Accept your true self, flaws and all, and let others do the same. When you are authentic, you create a space for real connections to grow. This authenticity acts as a strong magnet, drawing people who match your true nature, building the basis of a supportive community. Creating a supportive community takes intention and effort. Look for opportunities to connect with people who share your interests and values, whether through social events, online groups or local meetings. Share your positive energy and be open to receiving it back. In this mutual exchange, a thriving community emerges, providing a rich ground for personal and collective growth. To sum up, the journey of radiating positive energy is a life-changing path that not only improves your own well-being, but also helps you create a supportive and positive community. Practice gratitude, be aware of your thoughts and emotions, choose positivity, spend time with inspiring people, be kind and be authentic. By doing this, you become a light that shines, creating a ripple effect that goes far beyond your immediate surroundings shaping a world filled with positive vibrations. Habit 5. Setting Intentions Life is a complex and unpredictable journey that requires us to make choices and take actions. How do we know which way to go? How do we achieve our goals and dreams? The answer lies in setting intentions, a powerful habit that guides us with clarity and purpose. People who practice this habit are able to bridge the gap between their aspirations and reality creating a positive and harmonious flow in life. Setting intentions means deciding what we want to accomplish and aligning our actions with our desires. It is not a vague wish or a random thought, but a conscious and deliberate choice to move in a certain direction. It is like having a compass that helps us navigate the uncharted waters of life, keeping us on track and focused. Our minds have the ability to shape our reality. As the saying goes, all limits are self-imposed. A famous example of this is Icarus, the mythical character who flew too close to the sun with wings made of feathers and wax. He ignored his father's advice and went beyond his limits, causing his wings to melt and his fall. His story shows us the importance of setting clear intentions. He had the power to define his boundaries, but he failed to do so. People who set intentions know that they are not limitations, but rather opportunities. They free themselves from the uncertainty and confusion that often paralyze us, and instead, they pursue their goals with confidence and determination. Setting intentions involves not only imagining the outcome, but also planning the steps to achieve it. It turns abstract dreams into concrete action plans, making the impossible possible. The process of setting intentions starts with self-reflection. It requires us to dive deep into our desires, values, and long-term goals. What do we really want to achieve? What values guide our decisions? Setting intentions requires honesty with ourselves, a willingness to face our fears and doubts, and a commitment to growth. Once we set our intentions, they become a powerful force that aligns every action with our ultimate goal. It is the difference between a ship that drifts aimlessly in the vast sea and one that sails towards a specific destination. Living with intention is a remedy for the chaos of a meaningless existence. Furthermore, intentions serve as a source of motivation during difficult times. 
When we encounter challenges, we can revisit our intentions, drawing strength from our clear purpose. It becomes a mantra that inspires resilience and perseverance, turning obstacles into opportunities for success. In the tapestry of life, setting intentions is the thread that creates coherence and meaning. It is a conscious choice to be the creator of our story rather than a spectator. The positive energy generated by clear intentions attracts favorable outcomes and opportunities, creating a smooth and harmonious flow in life. In conclusion, the habit of setting intentions is a transformative journey that goes beyond wishful thinking. It is a conscious decision to shape our destiny, acknowledging that we are the only ones who can set our limits. As we spread our wings of intention and fly towards our goals, let us remember the timeless lesson of Icarus. Setting intentions is not just about flying high, it is about flying with purpose, direction and a clear destination in mind. Habit 6. Embracing Change Let him that would move the world first move himself. Socrates, life is a constant flux, a dynamic reality that never stays the same. Those who vibrate at a higher frequency know that change is not something to be feared or avoided, but rather a source of inspiration and empowerment. On the path of self-discovery, learning to embrace change is essential for unlocking one's true potential. Socrates, the ancient philosopher, shared his timeless insight on how to deal with change. He urged us to focus our energy on creating something new, rather than fighting against the old. This simple but profound advice is the secret to not only survive but thrive in the face of change. Embracing change means accepting the transience of everything. Those who vibrate at a higher frequency see change as a chance to grow and explore, not a threat to their security or identity. They are able to release their attachment to the past and welcome the future with curiosity and optimism. They have the flexibility and resilience to adapt to any situation and turn it into an opportunity. Change often brings along a sense of uncertainty and anxiety, a fear of the unknown. But it is in the unknown that the most amazing possibilities lie. Those who vibrate at a higher frequency have the courage to step out of their comfort zone and venture into the unknown. They know that this is where they can discover new aspects of themselves, unleash their hidden potential and strength. Furthermore, Embracing change requires a shift from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. Those who vibrate at a higher frequency view challenges and setbacks as learning opportunities, not as obstacles or failures. They see every change, big or small, as a chance to learn and grow. They use these experiences to hone their skills, enhance their abilities, and deepen their self-knowledge. The journey of embracing change also involves practicing mindfulness. Being in the present moment helps those who vibrate at a higher frequency to navigate transitions with clarity and purpose. Mindfulness helps them to connect with their inner self, to understand their needs, values and goals. In this state of awareness, they can make choices that are aligned with their true self, leading to a more meaningful and fulfilling life. In summary, embracing change is a process of transformation that those who vibrate at a higher frequency undergo with openness and enthusiasm. Socrates' wisdom serves as a beacon, reminding us to direct our energy towards creating the new, rather than resisting the old. By adopting a mindset of adaptability, a growth mindset and mindfulness, we can not only cope with change, but also leverage it for our personal growth and transformation. As we embrace the ever-changing nature of life, we write the story of our own evolution, becoming the masters of our destiny. Habit 7. Practicing Mindfulness. Elevating your vibrational frequency. Life can be chaotic and unpredictable, pulling us away from the present moment into the regrets of the past or the worries of the future. But within the flow of time, there is a hidden treasure, the present moment. It is the only moment that truly exists, and it is the gateway to all other moments. As the Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh said, the present moment is the only moment available to us, and it is the door to all moments. 
Mindfulness is the skill of being fully aware and attentive to the present moment without judging or resisting it. It is the key that opens the door to the realm of elevated vibrational frequencies. When we practice mindfulness, we transform our lives, creating clarity and peace that vibrate at a higher frequency. Mindfulness means being conscious of our thoughts, feelings and surroundings, and accepting them as they are. It means living in the richness of the present, rather than being stuck in the past or anxious about the future. When we make mindfulness a daily habit, we raise our vibrational frequency to new levels. People who vibrate at a high frequency are masters of staying in the present. They know that the past and the future are illusions that distract us from the power of the now. Through mindfulness, they enjoy each moment, finding wisdom and beauty in it. They have a clear and focused mind that cuts through the clutter and noise of the world. Mindfulness has a profound impact on our vibrational frequency. As we train our minds to be present, we emit energy that vibrates at a higher level. It is a harmonious vibration that reflects tranquility, balance, and a deep connection to the universe. This vibration affects not only ourselves, but also our relationships and our environment. Mindfulness is not just a passive observation, it is an active participation in life. Through mindful activities such as meditation, breathing and grounding, we develop a sense of inner peace. This peace becomes the basis for a higher vibrational frequency that spreads outward, influencing our experiences and interactions. In the modern world, mindfulness may seem like a luxury that only few can afford. But it is in the most hectic moments that mindfulness shows its true power. By incorporating mindfulness into our daily routines, we create islands of calm in the midst of chaos, sustaining a high vibrational frequency. To sum up, mindfulness is a powerful habit that elevates our vibrational frequency, opening the door to a life full of clarity, peace and connection. As we live in the present moment, we realize that it is not just a fleeting instant, but a portal to all the moments that matter. Embrace mindfulness, step through the door, and let the high vibrational frequency lead you to a more satisfying and harmonious life. You have learned the seven habits of high vibrational people and how they can improve your life. As you apply these principles to your daily life, you will unlock your potential to create wealth, happiness, and meaning.